Lighthearted. Off beat. Of stories that are not necessarily the news. Well, in Uzbekistan and Liechtenstein. No. Liechtenstein. No, been there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't go places you can't pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No. <laughs> like, can I ask, like, imagine trying to ask for directions. If that's the name of the country, Crispin. What do you think I the name what, of the streets are? I have no idea. That'd That's what I thought. Kind of. Yeah, telling me. Well, um, they are the world's only doubly landlocked countries, mm -hmm. which mean they own. They are the only countries completely surrounded by landlocked countries. Oh, no, okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Right. Not that going any time no, soon, but yeah, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> well, yeah, not anywhere. <laughs> well, not me. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll be here for a bit too. <laughs> okay. One of Jupiter's moon, Europa, is known to have a huge ocean underneath its icy surface. Mm. So there's an extra ocean out there that we didn't know about. That is amazing. Well, NASA is developing an ice penetrating technology called Archimedes. I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. um, that uses laser light to penetrate Europa's crust and allow explorers to access the underlying ocean. That's cool, man. That's so strange. Yeah. The underlying ocean. They can't access it. See now, no, imagine that's by itself there doing cool and everything all these years. All <laughs> are we coming sudden, um this rock? Okay, bam, uh, all this ocean comes out, are we in trouble now? Well, it's There's a flood. Yeah. There's a flood on Jupiter. You know? Yeah. Well, well you, you know, um they won't be us, so <laughs> Fact, well, yes, that's, that's very true. Um, well, good luck to them. Um, yeah, hope yeah. they do well with that. Well. Um, that is not how it goes. I'm sure we'll read about it on BBC. Um, well, there's a tulip mania. Um, when it was the 1630s, the price of one tulip bulb rose uh, to about 20 years of wages back in that time. Oh. What's so special, you might ask? Wondering. Don't know. Just... Okay. Uh, it just went up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, apparently everybody got rich, and then the last ones um, in got back up. So they were, maybe they were trying to put a little no, scam. They were, they were too late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Two lips. Uh, you got a favorite flower? No. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that was already asked my question. I was what? going somewhere with it, but okay. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, why is it? Um, you don't know because no. you don't have one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> All right. Um, did you know? You know about King Tut? Yes. Okay. Well, who knew about King Tut's dagger? Never heard of it till now. Um, it was found in his tomb and is believed to have been made of iron from a meteor. Really? Yeah. That's really cool. That's what they say. Mm. And at the time of King Tut, iron smelting was rare, and the iron would have been worth more than gold. Old time life. <laughs> Probably, I mean, okay. it's not like you were doing chopping onions with yeah, it. You, know? yeah, yeah. you were protecting yourself. Or it may have just been, you know, for the look. Yeah, yeah. You know, the fashion. What's wrong with that? They would, would have a special shape. And, yeah. yeah, sometimes they did, right? Yeah. Like a, they sneak along. Yes, those or, are pretty cool. Like, well, yeah, but um, yeah, I, I've, I've seen some of them. I've gone to a few museums and seen like the old time ones. They're mm -hmm. obviously forged by hand and it was not easy to create these things yeah. back then so now we're they're like oh would you like to buy um some crimson art knives we <laughs> no problem we manufacture a hundred thousand a day wow. yeah that's no, not the same yeah yeah it's not the same but there you go those are some things that are not necessarily the news